Check this out, guys. I am about to be almost hit by this speeding train in Hanoi, Vietnam. Check this out. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty crazy, wouldn't you say? But yes, that is actually a short little clip from my travel vlog film that I filmed when I was in Vietnam with my mum. Uh, me and my mum have, have had the, 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 the pleasure of, of going around different places around the world and uh, yeah, I got to film a lot of these locations and um, yeah, I've made a lot of travel films on it. Uh, that will be on channel one, by the way. But I will be showing you be this today, the actual uh, small little clip of the video because why am I actually doing this? Well, because check this out, Hanoi, in Vietnam has shut down its Instagram famous train street cafes because they were overrun with selfie taking tourists. Here's how it got to this point. Now I've been there, it's absolute madness. There's like thousands of tourists there. They've got their, their phones out and the train's coming from behind them. And it's just like, you know, oh, dude, get out the way, you're, you're this close. Now the train was literally this close to me and I couldn't back up any further because there was a wall with like a, Jagged, jagged edge cliff type of jagged, I don't know, what would you call it? A really sharp looking fence material. And if, if, if the train had hit me, it would have cut my head off, quite literally. Now I'm gonna show you the video in a second. Uh, and this is what the video looks like. Uh, here's a quick snippet of it. There's a cat sitting on a chair with a leash attached and he's in the middle of the railway tracks. This is just before the train comes. So I'm gonna show you a small little clip from my video. And of course, if you wanna watch it, I will be linking the full video down in the description below. But let's talk about uh, Hanoi and, and what's actually happening in, in Vietnam. But before I do, who am I? My name's Gareth Walton. We do daily videos on this channel in the studio, channel two. And of course, once again, we are on channel one, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, YouTube, at tallboygareth, it's that simple. Okay, now that we've got that over and done with. So Viet the Vietnamese government uh, officials have asked cafes along Hanoi's Instagram famous Train Street to shut down by October the 12th. Uh, the tourist hotspot is known for its single train track that runs previously, how do you pronounce this one? Perilously. Perilously close to locals uh, and homes and cafes and that, that kind of thing. The chairs and the tables and chairs are literally on the railway track they have to move them just just in time now it drew so many tourists that the government called it a hazard necessitating the shutdown of the tourist friendly cafes uh, so let me just show you some of the things right now this is some of the photos and uh yeah this is what we're actually talking about here you may have seen this on social media so i'll do some quick little reading before we should actually show you the video uh, so the hanoi uh, government and its local transit authority had ordered cafes strewn alongside the track, the train tracks, to close on October 12th, uh, 2019. The area is uh, the area has a still functioning 117-year-old railway track that divides a street full of homes and cafes on either side. Uh, very interesting, wouldn't you say? The cafe closure announcement was made on October 6, one day after a train had to make an emergency stop and be routed because there was you know, too many tourists on the train tracks. Wow, right? That's unbelievable. Thankfully, when I was there, like it was packed, but it wasn't that packed. That's crazy. Uh, though the railway cafes attract tourists, they are in fact violating some regulations. Uh, the chairman has said, the vice chairman of Vietnam National Authority, whatever it is, uh, administration has said, now check out the train street during its heyday, full of cafes, camera wielding tourists and people standing dangerously close to moving trains. So once again, here are some of the photos. And is that a rubbish bag? Or was it? I thought it was a dead chicken on the tracks then. Yes, I saw chickens on the tracks too. <laughs> Go check out the other video. The, the video I will link in the description below. Uh, that's my video. It will show you the chicken. Now they also line up dangerously on the sides of the tracks waiting to snag a photo of the passing trains. Look at that. Um, okay, residents, residential homes, vendors, and cafes line the side of the streets. Yeah, I remember that. There's just a little exit to the left there when I go to the, I went to the main street, and just up there is like a bunch of chickens having fights in the street. <laughs> it was really interesting. Uh, some of the houses are about five to 16 feet away from the tracks. Wow, I'm so glad I got to go to this location before it closed. I had no idea that, that the Vietnam government were actually uh, planning on getting rid of it, you know, stopping the public. Uh, several cafes have set up tables and chairs alongside 
the railroad railway tracks, I should say. Uh, there was even a cafe along the tracks named after the attraction, Hanoi Rail Track Cafe. Uh, I had to get a taxi. If you watch the actual video, I had to get this taxi and this taxi driver didn't had no idea where I was talking about. And he didn't speak English and I had to get an interpreter and the interpreter didn't have any idea. No one had any idea where I was trying to go, even though this place is really famous. Believe it or not. I went there like a couple of years ago, maybe, maybe three years ago now. But, you know, the cafe claims to have a great location as impeccable space and s serve you know, quality coffee, according to its Facebook page. Very cool, right? Wish I could go back right now. That'd be cool. That was a really, really cool location. So shops in the area started capitalizing on its tourist riddled location. She's having fun. <laughs> so this is the problem. Well, this well, this is the problem for tourists, I should say. This is this is the solution for the Viet Vietnamese uh, Vietnamese government, I guess you could you could say. So the barricades are there now. Along with the cafe closure demands, authorities have put up barriers to block the walking paths. So you can't walk down there anymore. Interesting. Uh, signs along the tracks now tell tourists and locals to not linger in the area, gather a crowd, take photos or videos, or have chairs and tables out along the roller tracks uh, uh, the reported. Geez, that, where's the fun anymore? Where's the fun? The railway was built in 1902 when Vietnam was still controlled by French uh, colonial rules. Interesting. It was once known as a rough part of town until the area started gaining social media fame, according to The Guardian. Wow. This is some really interesting shots, by the way. The, train, uh, the trains carry passengers and cargo between different cities uh, in, in the Vietnam area. There have never been any regretful accidents here, local cafe owner has said. Uh, he runs his shops from his home next to the tracks. I mean, if, if there was an accident... Would he really tell the truth, though? Just a thought. <laughs> uh, it would be bad for business. It would, not be, it would not be good, would it? Okay, guys, well, this is the video. I'm going to do a quick react to, like, seven, six, seven minutes of this footage. We're going to just... I will, I'll talk along as we watch it. And, uh, yeah, once again, the actual video will be linked... My video will be linked in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's watch this together right now and uh, have some fun. So the cat... Is strategically placed from from the owner, I guess you could say, and attached to the chair. Uh, and I'm making whistling sounds so the cat looks at cat? me. That's pretty cute. I hope someone moves him before the train. You guys comes, can see me now. Be, that would be a good situation. That's going to be a squashed pussy, and I like my pussies not squashed. Thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I I like my pussies absolutely plump. Uh, take a look at this pussy right here. There we go. Boom. Very cool. That's my pussy right there. Let's continue. <laughs> okay. Too much distraction. So I'm basically setting up my okay, GoPro. I set up my GoPro. Unfortunately, my other GoPro, my second GoPro, died yesterday. It did. I think it's uh, GoPros are, are definitely waterproof, but my GoPro has been used yep. for almost 100 of my videos. Yep. So I think there's a bit of a tear in the rubber. I went to Halong Bay GoPro the day before, and my river. GoPro basically yesterday, died. So that sucks. And I've got two camera footages: the big main one and the GoPro. See Let's that thing behind me? Guys. It's Hope really jagged. Because that be thing potentially could have killed me. There. Obviously, the train's not going to hit that concrete block, so I'm thinking I'm going to stand in this so area. So I thought that would probably the be the best location me. for me. If it hits me, I'm going to fall over and get my, my legs broken, so that's not going to be good. Okay, okay, let's just pause the video quickly right here. I want to quickly explain something. I'm that's setting me. up three cameras right now, and all of a sudden I hear the train honking. I can hear it coming. Oh I really God, could. God. I was super stressed. I'm not completely set up. I'm not completely ready right now. Absolutely I stressed. I quickly position my iPhone, which is on the floor, facing my feet. I get my GoPro, and I quickly turn that on. Yep. Now, I pick up my DSLR. This is my other DSLR. I'm actually using my... Now, if you look carefully in my background, uh, right, sh right here, that's my DSLR camera. The other one that, that I'm showing in this video. But anyway, here you go proper Canon DSLR to film this right now. So this is my other one that I haven't used in ages, my other Canon. Boom, right anyway, there. Boom, boom. <laughs> anyway, so I've got my DSLR off the floor, and, and the thing is my camera has a glitch sometimes. It does, Even though it I did. flick it on, it will not come on. Terrible. So I know what to do, thankfully. Listen to this. To do. I'm now 
stressed because this train's coming in so front stressed. of me. So stressed. You'll see this in a second. This train's coming in front of me. It's I'm, it's almost on the verge of squashing me. Yep. I know in order to get this camera to turn Such on, a stressful I've got situation. to get the side of the camera and twist this, pull this open, absolutely your compartment, pull it out. That's as if the batteries were getting quickly, loose in the camera, so I have to take in, them out and, then and push that back there and put the back and then, in. Of course, turn the on button on and then push the record button. It's involved. I was doing all this while the train was right in front so of me. So involved. So stressed. That's one I had of to do all of that in split seconds. DSLR it was crazy. Is off the train. So yeah, pr pretty much uh, the very first shot you, you see of me holding my big DSLR camera is when my camera turned on at the very, very last second. So I'm so lucky to have got that footage. Anyway, let's continue. With my DSLR is off the train so very close to me because that is the very first shot with me holding my camera. Get ready for this, guys. It's crazy. This is where we do it, right shot. now. I even almost got hit by the train. I really on the did. Side a little bit. I really did. Get ready for this, guys. I was super stressed, but it's a great shot. I hope you out. guys enjoy it. Here we go. So this is me setting up my phone on the floor. Uh, we'll quickly pull it away. There's my camera on the, on the floor. My other big DSLR camera. I just set on my, just set my big GoPro up on the, on the roof thing. And yeah, my main camera pretty much won't come on. And I'm super stressed. This is the only time I'm gonna get this shot. And here it comes. Holy shit indeed. Absolutely crazy. Take a look at this. This is never to be repeated anymore as long as Vietnam have the street closed. Oh. Check out, that, that's the shot where my camera just turned on. Could you guys see the guy in the train just then? Wow! See, if that train was to hit my head, my head would probably get knocked into that roof, the wiggly roof next to my head, and it would not be good. It would not be a good situation. Uh, honestly, too close, but wow, I'm so glad I did it. Just check that out. Are you guys counting how many carriages there are? I know I have in the past, but I can't remember right now. Is it like eight or nine, 10, something like that? It's a narrow gauge track for Vietnam. Vietnam do the whole narrow gauge system as opposed to standard. But the train is absolutely huge. How crazy is this? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, Gareth. <laughs> That's the end car, I think. Oh. The other end car, there we go. And that's it, right there. It's been about a year since I've seen this. Wow, so glad I've done it. And check out the tourists, you know, popping out of their locations, filming. Wow, that was absolutely crazy. It's, it's pretty crazy. It is, thank God. So I'm that. checking my GoPro to see if it was recording. I was Thankfully, my, it was. My phone. I was There's up my, my phone, phone right there. The train coming, and I, I had my camera, my big DSLR was off, and I quickly turned it on at the last second. The very last second, wow, absolutely. Yeah. How freaking amazing was that? I'm so glad I came very here. Very cool. All these tourists are basically here in this little dark, dingy alley. Because of this, this alley used to be filled with crime, Kauai, apparently. Vietnam because of before the tourists started this to come. Many times on TV, on I mean, YouTube, and all that. So wow. yeah, only so happens at one state. Uh, so glad my once taxi it made it in time. Only happens during the, during the day once and during the night once, so twice daily. And this is some really cool shots of an unedited replay. Check that out. <laughs> I wanted to add this little segment so you guys could see the unedited version to see how crazy it was for your own eyes, you know, without me editing it in some cool way, you know. I'm so close to right now. So the GoPro is the top left. iPhone. Have a look. Bottom. And my DSLR. Canon 70 Mark II was on the top right. It's absolutely nuts, eh? Just move oh my, my head God. for a second. Wow, there you how go. crazy is this? <laughs> it's pretty crazy, past Gareth. Future Gareth says it's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's pretty cool, eh? If you ever get the chance to go to Vietnam, I highly suggest it. Honestly, Really, really great location. So glad I went. And there's me doing some of the selfie snaps. Wow, I hope some of it Trying to be an way. influencer. No squash pussy. No squash pussy. Though. No squash pussy. I like my pussy natural yeah. and plump. Thanks. No, no squashing to the pussy at all. Thanks. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just recording myself. People are watching me. Have a look down here. And then I do a time lapse after this, but we're not going to show you the time lapse. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the video, once again, we'll be linked down in the description below. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. We do make daily videos on this channel, Channel 2, but of course, we are on Channel 1 when we make travel films, films on there every now and then when I can get around to it. Uh, I love you guys. I've been tall. My name's Gareth, and I'll see you tomorrow's video. Give us that sub, guys.